right, so are you ready for uh, are you ready for some Friday Night Lights again? Oh yeah, I'm always ready for Friday Night Lights. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose, right? That's right. I, I've been hearing all this buzz about a Friday Night Lights reboot that's officially in the works, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited about it. Me too. I think I think a lot of people are. For those who haven't experienced the magic of the original series, it's it's more than just football. Definitely. Much more. It's really about life in a small town where everything revolves around high school football. It's about the community, the families, the hopes and dreams of the people who live there. Exactly. And it really captured the hearts of audiences and critics alike. It really did. But here's the thing. This reboot is not a continuation of the original story. Right. We're not going to see Coach Taylor and Tammy back on our screen. That's right. We're getting a brand new story, a new team. but. The same world of Dillon, Texas. The same heart and soul. Exactly. And that brings us to the big question. Can they recapture the magic that made the original so special? That's a tough one. There are so many factors at play. Yeah. I've been reading about this bidding war between some major streaming platforms for the rights to the reboot. Yeah. Peacock, Netflix, and Amazon, they were all vying for it. It's wild. What do you think that says about the enduring appeal of the Friday Night Lights formula? Well, it says a lot about the power of nostalgia, for one thing. Sure. We're seeing this trend of reboots and revivals across the television landscape, and it makes sense. How so? Streaming platforms are constantly looking for content that will draw in subscribers, and what better way to do that than to tap into our love for shows we already know and love. Makes sense. It's a surefire way to get people talking and generate excitement. Exactly. Plus, Friday Night Lights has this timeless quality to it. Yeah. I think it really speaks to the human experience in a way that transcends any particular era or time period. Absolutely. The themes of family, community, and the pursuit of dreams, those are universal and they resonate with people across generations. You know, thinking back to when the original series aired, it wasn't an instant smash hit. No, it wasn't. It kind of flew under the radar for a while. But then something amazing happened. Oh. It started to gain this incredible following. People started talking about it, recommending it to their friends. It became this word of mouth phenomenon. Absolutely. It was one of those shows that you discover and instantly feel like you've stumbled upon a hidden gem. Yes. And you want to share with everyone you know. Exactly. I think a lot of that has to do with its authenticity. You know, when you were watching it, did you ever feel like you were transported to a real place with real people? Absolutely. The way they portrayed small town life, the relationships, the struggles. The heartbreaks. Yeah. It felt so raw and honest. It wasn't afraid to tackle difficult topics. I think that's what drew me in. Me too. Yeah. It felt so real, so relatable. And emotionally powerful. Definitely. And that's a big part of what makes a show a cult classic. Explain that a little bit more. So cult classics are shows that may not have been huge ratings hits initially, but they build these incredibly dedicated fan bases over time. Like a slow burn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And often they find greater success in syndication or on streaming platforms. Where people can binge watch them and really immerse themselves in the world of the show. Right. And Friday Night Lights is a prime example of that. Yeah. It's definitely gained more and more popularity in the years since it went off the air. It's amazing how it's continued to resonate with audiences even after all this time. And let's not forget the critical acclaim the original series received. Oh, yeah. Three Emmys. And it launched the careers of some pretty big names in Hollywood. Michael B. Jordan, Jesse Plemons, Taylor Kitsch. They've all gone on to do some incredible work. They really have. Makes you wonder if this reboot could do the same for a new generation of actors. It's definitely possible. It's a great platform for up-and-coming talent. I'm really curious to see who they cast and how these new characters will fit into the world of Dillon, Texas. Casting is going to be crucial. For sure. They need to find actors who can embody the spirit of the original characters while also bringing something fresh and new to the table. It's a delicate balance. It really is. You want to honor the legacy of the original, but also allow the reboot to stand on its own two feet. Exactly. The actors need to make these new characters their own. And speaking of honoring the legacy, one thing that's got people talking is the involvement of the original executive producers. Yeah, Jason Kadams, Brian Grazer, director Peter Berg. They're all back for the reboot. Which is great news for fans of the original. But do you think there's any risk in having them so closely involved? Hmm. It's a double-edged sword, for sure. On the one hand, they know this world inside and out. They understand what made the original so special. Right. 
But on the other hand, there's always the danger of being too attached to the past. Of trying to recreate something instead of allowing it to evolve organically. So it'll be interesting to see how they navigate that. I'm optimistic. I think they're smart enough to strike the right balance. I hope you're right. So here we are, a new story, new characters, but the same beloved setting of Dillon, Texas. The heart of Friday Night Lights. Exactly. And the big question remains, can this reboot recapture the magic of the original, or will it always be living in its shadow? Mm, only time will tell. Yeah. But I think it's going to be an exciting ride. I think so too. Yeah. So for all you Friday Night Lights fans out there, what are your thoughts? Are you excited about this reboot? Do you have any reservations? Share your thoughts on our social media channels. We'd love to hear from you. And as we wait for the premiere, think back to what made the original so special to you. What were the moments that resonated with you? What made you fall in love with Dylan, Texas? And then ask yourself, do you think those same elements can be captured in this new chapter of Friday Night Lights? I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening. Until next time.